Hello everyone, Abby here at Purple Cottage Crafts and I wanted to share with you quickly um, the setup for Emily and um, my um, second, I was trying to think how many times we've gotten together so far. So this is our second day of fall crafting. Um, she's coming down so she'll be here in about an hour and a half so I went ahead and got everything set up so we could just get right into the projects as soon as she gets here. So I uh, completed one of mine already because I wanted to allow Emily to have as much time to craft and kind of have like a little bit of a mommy break and so I can watch Kyron of course get some Nana time and we'll be in the same room of course so I thought it'd be kind of um, a fun thing to, to um, give her her a little bit of time. So this is the fall of shabby fabric banner that Emily started and she didn't get all the way through because we you know we um, we ate dinner and then we were watching some movies with Kyron and Kaylee and so and I knew we weren't going to get done all all in one night. We might have even a third night coming up. We'll see. But this is where she's kind of gotten started and the colors that she chose. I laid that out for her for her. We don't have assigned seating. But she wanted to, she automatically sat here. So I'm kind of making this her station again. And the mine's going to be over there by the, um, by the door. So a couple of things here. Um, we each got, uh, I, I bought all this stuff for Emily and I to create some things together. I remember what it's like when you're, you know, early 20s and you have a baby and, you know, mortgage, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to help her um, by gifting some stuff to her. So it's, you know, I, I don't know. I just really want to encourage her because she loves to do crafting and scrapbooking, but she doesn't really know how to get back into it. So this has been a huge thing for me because um, Kayla used to craft with me, but she doesn't anymore. And that's totally fine. She doesn't have to be a crafter like me. It's totally fine. But I'm so excited that Emily loves to do it. So this will be the first of many crafts we're going to do together. So uh, I got each of us one of these galvanized buckets. These are from Walmart with a chalkboard. And then I included in this bag here, I have one of these pumpkins too. This, this is from Dollar Tree. And um, I put a little bit of chalk in there for her so she can write on this and this uh, bucket. So um, everything you're going to see, I got doubles of because one for me, one for her. So I'm going to try to stop saying one for me, one for her. <laughs> but if I do, please forgive me. So um, got two each of the different owls from Dollar Tree. Super cute. And then this is something new. I forgot to post it on my Instagram, the pictures. But I'll do that so I can delete it off my phone. But these are some acorns I got from the Dollar Tree. Now this is two packages together. I'm probably going to go back and get some more. I'm hopeful they're not gone. But all these be kind of fun to use. Um, uh, maybe she, you know, she talked about maybe gluing some of these on the top for a banner. Fabulous idea. You know, or um, we can put them on our wreaths that we're going to be making. Total creative freedom. You know, she can do what she wants, and I, of course, I can do what I would like to do. So this is some of the extra fabric, and I kind of organized everything. These are more of this extra strips, so she, they're ready to go for her. And then I have some larger pieces of fabric that, you know, maybe she wants to take some of this home, and she can use it like kind of to drape, you know, um, on one of her end tables or I don't know, whatever. Just, I'm going to definitely be sharing a lot of this stuff with her. And then um, these are just some miscellaneous sizes of scraps and just some more here. And this little tiny bit here is full of like little itty bitty um, scrappy bits that I like to keep and use in projects and stuff. So she, and this would be gr great too. I'll show her how to do this if she's interested. You know, I can, um, we can glue, th glue these onto our wreaths if we want to do those little tiny bits popping out, kind of like when I, well, not just me, but all of us crafters out there. We make like little floral cluster centers on cards and tags. You make little bits of lace or something popping out. That's what I was kind of thinking for this. So, you know, if she wants that, she totally can. If not, that's cool too. I'm sure I probably will. And our next project is um, altering these two buckets. And I got these from... Dollar Tree, I think. Yeah, Dollar Tree. So um, I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna choose to have mine facing this way. Um, you know, this little face is cute and all, but I think my style is just kind of maybe not to have that showing so much. And then we're gonna decoupage some napkins onto it if she wants to. She might want to keep hers the same, and that's totally fine, of course. So I got some extra or a few packs of napkins from Dollar Tree. This one is. I think that's really cute. I'm thinking about making this the focal point on on my bucket right here. And I may end up just taking some wide burlap that I have and just wrapping over top of that. You can't see the face at all. So, but then, um, you know, so I got a couple little bottles of Mod Podge from Dollar Tree cause all my crafting stuff is still packed. And then I got this pack of floral foam and two um, pieces per bucket will work great. And I have all kinds of sprigs of different um, fall uh, 
Lilo picks up some different fall floral, you know, arrangements and stuff. So this is my banner. It's done. Now it's kind of bunched up because it's longer than my table, but just to kind of give you an idea of how I did mine. I think it's really, really cute. This is going to hang out on my front porch. And if you watch the video I put uploaded yesterday with my phone, um, I think it was like I think it was titled like my project craft room project update or something like that. I do show at the end of the video, I, I do show you my, my front porch. So you'll kind of get a visual where this is going to kind of hang. And then this is my bucket over here and here are our wreaths. Now I bought this one before Emily and I had talked about crafting together. So I went back to Walmart to buy another one. It was already gone. I was like, no. So I did grab a couple of the smaller ones of the Saint, the grape, um, grapevine wreaths. And then I have this other one from Dollar Tree. So she can do all three if she wants. She can do just one, whatever she wants to do. And then whatever she doesn't use, um, I'll keep probably and just make another wreath of some sort. So there are here are my little cute owls and little acorns. And then over in this box here is kind of a combination of a lot of things. Um, I had to buy some scissors because my scissors are still packed. I can't find them. Um, I bought another bottle of, um, not another, but I bought a bottle of this because, again, my stuff is still packed. So I have just some different floral arrangements. Uh, it's a combination of Dollar Tree and Walmart. And then um, I have a few, few packets. Uh, let me grab them out here of the different leaves from Dollar Tree. There's different, you know, colors and things like that. So I grabbed a bunch of those. And then um, a couple packs of reindeer moss, because I thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe glue that, hot glue that onto the wreath. And then I have two or three packs of these little pumpkin things, and these are from Dollar Tree, and they have these really uh, cool clips. So I thought these would be kind of fun to put on the wreath as well, on the buckets, whatever, you, you know, whatever, whatever we decide to do, creative process, you know. So down in, the, in this box, I have some different... Um, uh, spools of burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree and then I think they're all from Dollar Tree except for the big thing of um, uh, um, Abby Why, uh, burlap and I like it's like a four inch wide roll of burlap that's from Walmart this is Dollar Tree as well and I have a couple different patterns down there and then two packs of bows um, I have the two pack here so I'm, I'm gonna let Emily decide which um, pack she wants or maybe we'll split it and each of us gets one of each color but there's that that big thing of twine down there that's from walmart as well um and these spools are also from dollar tree oh i'm not sure if i can get them all out or not but they're different patterns it's like sheer ribbon you got this really pretty kind of um orangey gold embossed flower on it oh i should have had this stuff out sorry guys um that's the same one they're way back here in the corner. Here we go. Then there's this one here that's kind of like a, a gold sheer trim or ribbon or whatever you want to call it. And then it's got the um, gold maple leaves on it. Really, really pretty. And then there are some of these picks, which are from Dollar Tree. Um, I got these two larger ones there. And then a couple small ones. So I'm really excited um, for our fall, day two of our fall um, home crafts project that we're going to be working on. Um, I did want to set up my camera and film um, what, when we're doing this stuff, but Emily is very shy and I absolutely will not make her uncomfortable by trying to videotape her. So I'm respecting that. I do it with anybody and everybody, you know, like, you know, if, if uh, Kaylee's pretty bashful when it gets comes to getting on her on camera and stuff, so I don't like force her to be in my videos. And um, so I'll probably set it up anyway, or maybe have Steve, because he'll be home when when um, we are working on these. Trying to give you something cool to look at while I'm just chatting with you. <laughs> Sorry, I keep moving around. And these are just so beautiful. We, you know, living in Oregon, um, we, we have a lot of uh, trees here, of course. And when the leaves start to turn like this, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm planning on doing a little bit of a vloggy walk in our new neighborhood and show you the beautiful trees that are turning and stuff, too. So... Um, back to the, the, um, point of this video, Abby, <laughs> get sidetracked. So, um, I'll have Steve probably take like some pictures of me working on stuff, but I definitely will film all of our projects before she goes home with them. And, uh, so I can share them all with you. Now I will be doing some fall home decor pieces for my home aside from these projects. So I definitely will film those so you can see that. And um, I'm also going to be filming me kind of um, dressing up our front porch for fall. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I need to go upstairs and get some clothes on. Still 
got my PEGs going and um, just get some things ready, lay out some of Kyron's toys, that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. So just wanted to share this with you. So I hope you all are having a great Saturday. Happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting. And in Emily and I's case, happy fall decorating. <laughs> and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.